Whenever we see cats, spiders, and lizards climbing walls, we assume that they can do that because they're light, right? It's true, they've got physical features and all that allows them to cling to walls. But can you imagine an elephant climbing a wall? Even if it's got little hooks on its feet? Weird, right? Exactly. If you've seen a construction machine, any one at all, you'd know just at first impression that they're heavy. Some of them look like trucks. Others are so intimidating and sturdy looking that they look heavier than trucks. An excavator is one of the latter. The average excavator weighs 67,865 pounds. Wow, that's more than 23 times the weight of an average car. I mean, it's expected from a machine that digs dirt from the ground, but wow. However, this isn't as mind-blowing when you discover that there are climbing excavating machines. Yeah, you heard that right. I mean excavator machines that can climb walls and slopes like spiders. Do you doubt me? Well, here are the 10 most dangerous and heavy excavator construction climbing machines. If you're new to this channel, leave a like and hit the subscription button. Don't also forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified of subsequent videos. If you're a regular, I'll settle for a like. Number 10. The Menzi Muck M545 Extreme. This excavator is so good at climbing that in some countries it's called the Spider Excavator. And for good reason. This machine's literally got arms and legs just like a spider. The back legs are retrofitted with huge 800mm tires, while the front have equally huge tires attached to the crook of the bendable arms. When the M545 Extreme gets to a difficult terrain that requires climbing, these arms unfold. The front tires by default are then rested. The cab looks like a helicopter without the tail and rotors. At first sight, it's quite small for a machine of this caliber, but don't be fooled. The cab's got all the controls required to keep this beast under control. The M545 Extreme has different drives depending on the terrain. That, coupled with its hydraulic legs, ensures smoothness and the ability to adjust to any topography. The fact that the M545 Extreme weighs 10.7 tons and is still able to climb is simply amazing. It shows just how much invent went into its construction. Number 9. Euromax Spider Excavator R65s Here's another spider. Big, bad and super efficient. This one weighs 8 tons. Two less than the M45 Extreme, but 8 is still too heavy to be climbing. The length of the Euromac R65s is 5.3 meters. Its height is 3 meters and the width 4.4 meters. When compared to other construction machines, the Euromac might be smaller, but the measurements fit perfectly, enhancing its spider structure. The Euromac R65S is exceptionally good at marshy locations, mountains, and canals. The company, Euromac, has been in the business for 40 years, which, if you ask me, is more than enough time to perfect the nature of these spider excavators, and that is evident. It's got two tanks, a primary fuel tank of 85 litres and a secondary one of 160 litres. Due to its dependence on hydraulic systems for its fluid and efficient movements, the R65S has a 240 litre tank dedicated to hydraulic oil alone. The machine can also rotate full circle and can do this continuously at 8.5 RPM. Equipped with a 99 horsepower engine, its penetration force is tremendous, hence why it's a stable choice in difficult construction sites. Number 8. The Kaiser S2 The Kaiser S2 weighs 10.3 tonnes, has a height of 2.53 metres, length of 5.54 metres, and a width of 2.33 metres. This one can travel on the highway and still leave space for other cars. It also means that it can get into certain narrow areas. The front wheels are smaller, enhancing the climbing ability. The adjustable pad feature also grants the machine extra stability on tricky topography. These pads can also be widened to help the Kaiser S2 adapt suitably to the terrain. To enhance functionality, the Kaiser S2 has two different control wheels, one for the wheels and another for the legs. This dedicated steering system allows the machine to perform its function optimally. This machine can work comfortably above trenches, 
ditches, forests, and slopes of various inclines. Number 7. The Kaiser S12 It's Kaiser again. This time around, it's a different model, the S12. Another name for the S12 is the Allroad, given by Kaiser itself. Trust me, this isn't one of those aliases companies give their products for the sake of publicity and marketing. The Allroad isn't just catchy, it's a one-word summary of what the S12 can do. The Kaiser S12 weighs 12,000 kilograms and has an engine horsepower of 149.56. To prolong its functionality, to prevent damage of any kind, this machine has a cooling system on standby. It's also got power options that create reserves that can be drawn on at the appropriate time. The Kaiser can go as fast as 10 km per hour. To work on all roads, you'd need great visibility, and the S12 provides that in its cab. It can work in trenches, and even in water, as its legs allow it to wade in depths of 2.45 meters. The excavator arm can lift 6,600 kilograms. There in the cab, there are integrated remote control systems that help the operator run control and diagnostics. Number 6. The Menzi Muck M545X The second Menzi Muck on this list doesn't fail to live up to expectations. Like the Extreme, the M545X can go up to 15 km per hour. It's got four equal 800mm wheels. To tell you that this machine was built with high expectations, it's got mountain stabilizers, granting it stability on the mountain as well as other terrains as tough as that. It weighs 13,500 kilograms. The M545X's fuel tank can hold up to 180 litres. It's also got a spare tank in the chassis that's 240 litres while the hydraulic oil capacity is 220 litres. With that much tank space, the machine can work effectively, and for long periods. When compared to other tracked excavators, the M545X is little, but it handles the same workload as a crawling excavator. The boom can carry stuff of up to 9,800 kilograms. The swivel ring is large, allowing the machine to rotate swiftly and easily. It can also save fuel, while avoiding any form of compromise on the work. The cab offers all-round vision just like the others. Number 5. The Menzi Muck M222 When a company's products are just too good, you'll hear so much about it. The same goes for Menzi Muck's third climbing excavator machine on this list. The Menzi Muck M222 uses a turbo diesel engine of 75 horsepower. There's a controller in the machine, an anticipating power management that creates harmony between the engine and the hydraulics. This kicks off the cooling system and prevents the machine from overloading. The M222's engine might be fuel-based, but the driving system is electronic. Like most climbing excavators in Menzi Mux M series, the M222's boom cylinder is mounted horizontally in the center part of the machine. When on a 3-meter incline, this machine can carry up to 5,400 kilograms. When it's at 4.5 meters, it can carry 3,100 kilograms and 2,000 kilograms at a 6-meter incline. The M222 can have speeds up to 5 to 8 kilometers per hour. It's got a fuel tank capacity of 125 liters and an additional one of 210 liters right in the chassis. The hydraulic system has 190 liters which is enough to cater for the movement and efficiency of the excavator. Swiveling is very important for an excavator, especially one that wants to work on tricky spaces. Number 4. Euromac R853 This excavator has a mix of big and small tires. At the boom, there are three stages to configure it. The boom can go as far as 8,270mm to 8,860mm. There are also five tubes at the end of the boom that connect the boom to the entire machine. The booms also got security valves. The balances and booms connection are reinforced with pivots of 60 mm, thus strengthening the boom. There are increased spindles on the front wheels alone. The Euromax telescopic legs are retractable when not in use to ensure that it moves comfortably on all four wheels. In case you didn't know, 
The Euromech R853 has a horsepower of 173. That's sufficient to produce a world-class performance. Number 3. The Kaiser S3 The Kaiser S3 takes things up a notch by its design. This time around, it's designed so that other tools can be attached to it. You'd expect such a heavy machine to tear up the ground and have enormous pressure, but it's quite the opposite. The Kaiser S3 has low ground pressure and can adapt the wheel's strength to fit terrain such as forests and swampland. The double pivot steering feature grants it top maneuverability. It can be controlled into very difficult places and locations. All four wheels can also be controlled so that they can spread wide apart while the machine is functioning. The Kaiser S3 weighs around 12.9 tons, about the heaviest on this list, and still it can climb dangerous slopes and all. Isn't that amazing? The length is 8.7 meters, height of 3 meters, and width of 2.3 meters. The Kaiser's low speed allows every attachment fixed to be controlled easily and effectively. It's also geared to conserve energy and, in extension, fuel. In this case, it's also a great choice if finances are concerned to you because this will obviously cut costs. The Kaiser also offers the option of a particle filter that helps reduce emissions. Number 2. Menzi Muck A61 It's yet another Menzi in the house. By now, you should have come to the conclusion that Menzi Muck is one of the leading climbing excavator companies out there, and the product of their work is really visible. Why else would there be so many of them on this list? The Menzi Muck A61 is also called the Walking Excavator. With a horsepower of 81, it can work for 9,040 hours without breaking down. That's a lot of hours. It weighs 7,100 kilos and uses a diesel engine. The A61 is ahead of most of the Menzi Muck models by its adoption of the most recent chassis control system. The agility, the ripping force, they're also top notch. The A61 has a tank capacity of 130 litres. The reserve tank can carry up to 200 litres, while the hydraulic tank can carry 160 litres of hydraulic oil. The cab can swivel as fast as 10 RPM. There are two joysticks in the cab, and each of them can perform 25 functions. Number 1. The Menzi Master M515 The Menzi Master M515 is unique not only because it's aptly named Master, but because it's the only climbing excavator in this video with track wheels. You'd think that climbing would become difficult because it's ditched the spider form that made climbing so easy. No, like a true Master, the M515 proves us all wrong. Weighing 14 tons, it has an astonishing engine horsepower of 157, enough to push its way through difficulties. And what's better? The track gauge can be adjusted to suit the terrain. Want to know how the master can climb slopes without spider legs? The trick is to have a low center of gravity, and the Menzi Master M515 understood the assignment. It's got a 180-liter fuel tank capacity. The reserve tank is 20 liters, while the hydraulic tank is 220 liters. What other dangerous and heavy climbing excavator machines have you come across? Let us know in the comment section. If you haven't liked this video, don't forget to do so. Secure your spot in our next video by clicking the subscribe and notification buttons.